Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how I made this card. So I'm going to call this a honeycomb double flat pinwheel card. Um, it's basically based off the um, Mixed Up Crafts pinwheel card that she did. Um, but I've just changed the measurements around a bit and I've added a few more little boxes in. And I've also added some flaps. So that's the front of it. Um, got my little happy Christmas on the front there. And then to turn it around I've got a little angel with a trumpet. And I've got a greeting there and also that you can write your middle message there. Turn it round, you've got the angel and then we're back to the front again. So it looks sort of a little bit scary, but it's not, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not the easiest of things, but it's also not the most difficult ever. So the card that I've used today for this card, I have used um, Paper Mill Direct Pale Turquoise card, which is 240 GSM. And that's what I've used for the base card. And then all of the mats, well, they're kind of patterns, aren't they, really? I've used a white, the super smooth white um, Paper Mill Direct card, um, and I've just stamped it all up. So obviously, if you wanted to, you could use pattern paper. Um, if you want to go for mats and patterns, you can, but it's a lot of pieces to cut out. I will just warn you now. Um, so I will be giving you all the measurements as if you're just doing it like this one, uh, where you've just got the one layer. Okay, it folds flat to go in a card, uh, in an envelope rather, and it fits in um, an envelope that would fit a 5x7 card, because this is a 5x7 footprint on this card. Okay, so um, that folds flat. Now I've used, because I've used 240 GSM, it's quite a lot of bulk there, so just be mindful of that, obviously. Um, if you use a slightly thinner card, that would possibly be better. Maybe a 200 might be better to use as your base card. It's just all the cubes that you've got in the middle. That's what adds the bulk. But um, but yeah, it's quite a nice card. I quite like it. I like how different it looks. Um, and yeah, it's just a bit different. So yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, so for this um, card, you need quite a lot of pieces, okay? Now, I'm not doing matte and pattern layers. I'm only going to do one layer, so like a matte layer, but I've printed it, so it's basically like a pattern, basically. But I'm only doing one layer, because if you do two layers, it gets a, there's a lot of pieces. So for your base card, you need a piece that is four and a quarter by five inches, okay? Now, I'm going to go through and I'm going to score them as we go because that's sort of a bit easier for my brain to cope with. So four and a quarter by five inches. Now along the four and a quarter edge, you need to score at one inch, at two inch, at three inches, and at four inches. Okay, leaving a little quarter on the edge. So that's all you need to do on that main piece. Okay, your next pieces that you need are four inches, by five inches and you need four of these okay so on all four of these you want to score them at one inch two inches and three inches okay so you need to do that on all four pieces so one inch two inches three inches okay so that's all the scoring that you need to do so just the main piece and then that those four four by five pieces you also need, in base card, you need four base card pieces that are three and a half by five inches. And you also need four pieces that are two inches by three inches. Okay? So on the pieces that are two by three inches, you need four pieces that are one and three quarter by two and three quarter. Now I've stamped two of them with a greeting and two of them with a little angel. Okay, so it depends what you want to do, but these, they're gonna go on there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and just stick those down. Okay, so that's those bits done. So you can just put those to one side for now. Right, so you're also gonna need um, four pieces and these pieces measure two and a quarter by four and three quarter. So you need um, four of those. One of them needs to be plain, so you can write your message on it. The other three can be patterned. Okay. Um, then you also need another four pieces, and these are one and a quarter by four and three quarters. 
and they're patterned and then you're going to need eight pieces that are three quarters of an inch by five inches and these can be ribbon if you want them to be if you've got some three quarter inch ribbon you can use that um, but I've used strips of white card and I've stamped a little pattern on them okay so let's get to put in our card together and then we can carry on with sticking things down so let's bring in our pieces that we scored so the main piece that is um, four and a quarter by five you just want to go ahead and burnish all of your lines If you want to, you can make it four and a half by five and give yourself a half inch tab rather than a quarter of an inch tab. So it's really up to you what you want to do on that. I just did that because obviously in the UK, an A4 page is eight and a quarter inches wide. And so that would mean then that I could get that out and then one of my um, four by five panels out. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put some red tape along that tab. Like that and then we're going to peel the backing off the tab turn it over and just fold that whole section plus the tab in and fold the other section over to meet it and that gives you a really tiny little cube little cube tower okay so then what you want to do is take your um take these and these just all need folding and burnishing So once you've done that, you can put those to one side. Um, right, so next you want to bring in your other four pieces. These are the large flaps. So these are the pieces that are three and a half by five inches. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your um, box and on your box, now you can use, I'm going to use wet glue, but you can use red tape. You can use double sided if you want, but I would probably go for something that you know is definitely going to stick. So you're going to glue one of your sides like that and notice I've squished it to the left so the side I'm gluing is the left side then you're going to take one of your panels and you're just going to stick it on so that it marries up with that edge the folded edge and it sits nice and straight so I'm going to stick that down and then when you open it up you can see that it just sticks out so you end up with basically that a little cube with like a flap attached okay so now if you squish it just to one side okay like that I'm now going to put uh, some more glue on this next side of the cube and I'm going to do that same thing I'm going to make sure that my flap goes off to the right and I'm going to line it up with the left hand side So like that, so when I pop it up, you will see your pinwheel starting to take shape. So now again, I'm going to put it off to the, squeeze that flat that I've done off to the left, move it round, rotate it round, and then put some more glue on this side here. And then stick my next piece on again, so it hangs off to the right, and it lines up with that edge on the left. Like that, and then we've just got one more piece to go, so that's where we're at, at the moment. We're just going to squidge it like this, so we're now left with that last panel that doesn't have a flap stuck onto it. And we're going to go ahead and glue that side and then stick this other panel on again so it goes off to the left and marries up with that right hand, sorry, goes off to the right and marries up with the left hand side. So when we put it in, there's your pinwheel card. Okay, so that's what it looks like from the top. So next what we want to do 
is we want to just fold it flat like that and bring in one of your pieces that you've just folded up uh, and what you're going to do is you're going to add either glue or tape on basically the two outer edges not the two middle ones i'm going to do one at a time so i'm going to do this one first and then i'm going to do that one okay so this is going to go in fact before we do that we'd be better off to stick our pieces on so let's stick our pieces on next so you want to bring in your little strips that were three quarters of an inch by five inches now these are going to go in the center two panels centrally like that now if yours are slightly too big too long like mine are just stick them down then trim them off okay so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to stick these down i'm going to use tape i think because i think that i'm going to end up with problems if i use glue Okay, so once you've done all four of them, stuck all your strips on all four of them, you can go ahead, take one of them, and bring your base card back in again. And what you're going to do is you fold the whole thing in half. So here's my folded edge, here's my cut edge. You're going to put some tape or some glue on there, and you're going to stick it into, or basically this way around, into that corner there. Okay, and I'm going to use glue because it gives me a bit of wiggle room time, and I can kind of get it in the right place. I use tape you can use tape but I just find like you know there's more chance of making a mistake with tape so that's like that turn it around gonna make sure my baubles are the right way up stick that in there like that and press down okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some t more glue on this side And then I'm going to just flip it over one. So I'm going to keep that in there. I'm going to flip it over one so that it sticks to that other side. So I've just flipped it over one piece. So then when I open this up, can you see that's in there like that? Okay, so that's what we've done there. I'm just going to open this way so I can get it um, definitely fits nicely in there. And this is another reason why I use glue because I find it's. Um, bit more malleable for getting it in the right place so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the same now with the other boxes Okay, so once it's dry, um, you should end up with that, which is like a kind of a honeycomb thing in the middle, and then your little flap sticking off. So now what we want to go and do is decorate your these panels here. So I'm just going to fold it down carefully, and then I'm going to go ahead and stick these panels onto here, and these panels onto there, like that. So I'm going to go ahead now and do that. Okay, so once you've done, you should end up with that. That's, that, that's obviously the plain panel I'm going to write on. Now you might find, like I have, that it only really wants to squish properly one way. So this is the way it's comfortable to squish. If I try and do it, so this way is the way it wants to go. If I try and do it that way, I have a bit of a problem with my boxes. But that's fine. As long as it wants to squish one way, that's absolutely fine. That's your main, you know I mean? as long as you, you can squish it one way, then that's, that's where you're at really. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're going to add the little extra flaps on. So, so this bit here, what we're going to do is I'm going to make that my front and the bit with the white panel at the back. So here's my front here. So on the front, we're going to decide what we want to put where. Now I'm going to put, because I've got a greeting 
and I've also got little angels so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the happy Christmas at the front there and then my two angels on the side pieces and my greeting on the back where my my message will be so on the front here we want to stick this onto there now I can see that yeah about half an inch so I can see on here what I need to do is turn this over to the left hand side I want to put the tape on so I'm going to turn this over so it's still right and left not that way around that way around and then I'm going to put a line of tape on that edge there which I've now turned around to be my top edge so I'm going to put a line of tape and this is half inch tape so I'm going to put a line of tape that's about half inch if you go for half inch tape it makes it a bit easier because then what you can do is when you turn it back over that is going to stick onto here and you want it level top and bottom so central top and bottom and you want a tiny bit of a gap between the border like that okay and you want to make sure it doesn't stick out too much so when you lay it flat that does not go past this edge here okay so this is where we're at at the moment so now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the same thing here so I've got my little angel which I'm going to use for here so again I'm going to put it on that same left hand side peel my backing off and then we're going to make sure it's top and bottom and you can you've got the one behind to kind of let you know where to stick it and then we're going to stick that on there like that Okay, we're going to turn it around again and this time we're going to stick I'm going to stick the greeting on and again line it up eyeball it so it's about the same place you can measure if you want to be precise like that and then we turn it around again and we're going to put the last one on okay so that is your card finished so if you look at it from the front there's the front so you've got your happy christmas at the front there and then if we turn it round, you've got your little angels and then your greeting and you're going to write your message there and then your other little angel and then back round to the front again so that's what it looks like from the top and yeah it's quite impressive it's quite an impressive card and so it folds flat now obviously if i because i used quite a thick card mine's about 240 gsm so because of that it is there's a lot of wadge obviously in the middle there where you got all the boxes so if you wanted it a little bit less you could make your boxes out of something a little bit not you know not quite as sturdy um because i think it will hold up quite well but yeah so hopefully you enjoyed it um if you if you did, well, even if you didn't, please like, <laughs> subscribe, um, hit the not notification bell so you don't miss a video and we will see you next time. Bye.